record, so we're going to save this for a later date. I'm going to make sure that my helper here, who's logging in in a moment, will be ready as an organizer. Bear with me, please, people. We're about to start. Don't we all love software? Right now, people, if you do hear birds, that is correct. It's really humid here in Amsterdam where we're broadcasting from, and we have the window open. And right now, we are almost ready to go. We are logged in as Max. Well, you're in, uh, can you mute yourself, please? There we go. Oh, I think we're all ready now. So with that, let's really hit it. And uh, thank you very much for joining. Uh, let's start this deck, three past three. So I'm Martin Lenz Fitzgerald, co-founder of Layer, and happy that you're here. Together here with me is Max, our sales marketing associate, Olga, my steady partner in crime in these webinars, is on vacation, and Max is uh, well well rehearsed already in this, and I'm happy he's with us, and he will be helping me today. So today's setup is 30 minutes of presentation, and I have a demonstration as well. If you have any questions during the session, please do them via the question box. Max will uh, filter those, either direct them to me or directly answer them in the chat for you. This deck, as well as the video, will be shared later, and uh, so feel free to uh, later uh, yeah, refer this back and use it at your own uh, desire. So today, it's going to be Augmented Reality and Interactive Print 101. I'm going to start with about augmented reality and layer, a little piece on that. I have a load of examples uh, for you collected, some really nice new ones that you'll like. Then I'll do a product walkthrough, including a quick session on how you can do it. I'll show you uh, and, and build a little demo for you. And then in the end, we will end with questions and answers. And note, like I said, we have 30 minutes of presentation and then 15 minutes of um, uh, questions and answers. Are your questions and answers not uh, answered or do you have more? 15 minutes later, so in an hour, we have a full hour of questions and answers, which we do monthly. So that is a different show, quotation marks, but there you can still continue if you didn't have enough. With that, let's get started, and let's get started with about augmented reality and layer. Um, so augmented reality has been there for a while. In the 60s, uh, the first versions came around. Uh, it was invented at Boeing in the early 90s, but actually 1994, it was in the Terminator movie that most people, the mass audience, really got to know augmented reality when Arnie was looking around when he played the Terminator and he as a robot could distinguish between good and bad people using augmented reality. We could kind of see his robot vision and uh, uh, yeah, as, as an audience kind of understood it. Maybe we didn't even know what the technology was at that moment, but we did see it and that's when most people saw it. Today, augmented reality really rides the wave of, of smartphone growth. We already have 1.5 billion smartphone users uh, who are all capable augmented reality users. And this number is expected to grow to almost 5 billion who are now mostly feature phone, but they will all be turned into smartphone users soon. So these are all potential augmented reality users because any smartphone can also do augmented reality. And mind you, I'm not even talking about uh, a glass or other new developments here yet, just your normal phone that everybody has. This is the, where we really see the, the, the upswing coming. This is where Layer started when the Android came about, and this is, uh, yeah, the, the wave that we keep on riding. So what is it actually, and how does it work? Well, with that, I'll actually pop out here and quickly do a live demo for you. Let me just get that ready. Now you can see my phone here, uh, uh, screen shared. Let me start up layer. 
So how it works is now you can see through my phone uh, uh, and, uh, the first version of Layered Magazine. And what it does is when I tap this, you can see it scan. And what we do now is image recognition. And the image Hi, is now I'm Raimo, CEO of Layer. sent to the cloud. And then the video, which is layered on top, is now being shown on top of it. This is Layer's old CEO and my co-founder, Raimo. It for its unique characteristics. Unique characteristics. Turn off that audio. Um, so this is in short uh, how it works. So you recognize the visual. The media then is downloaded from the cloud when it's matched up. And you don't need any special printing technology, no special codes. And in the video, like you see here with Rymo, you can do all kinds of tricks and really match it up with your uh, content. And just one other little trick, which I always like, you can just turn it around and see the same content without even tapping it. For instance, here you see a Watka ad where you can add it to cart and buy it. Let me get back to the presentation. So this is, again, for the people that didn't see it, this is augmented reality. And you can add all kinds of uh, content, of course. Key is uh, very important is that you have the call to action to tell people about it, more about that later. Very important to know because most people know QR codes one form or the other, those square black and white thingies that I see. Well, augmented reality is like the future heavy cool version of that. And the cool thing also is that you do not have that ugly square black and white visual. Also, you can do rich media like the video you just saw or 3D. You can also update after publishing. Uh, excuse me, Martin, I guess we're having a customer who um, has lots of echoes. Is anyone else having these issues? Did you mute your mic? Yeah. Not really. We're good. OK. All right. Sorry about that one person then. And with that, we will continue. So augmented reality is way better than QR codes. And in the, at the core, it's the awe effect or the wow effect that augmented reality has, which you do not have with QR codes. So for the people uh, that I won't show this right now, we have a good augmented re or layer video, which really gives you a good overview. You can see this later in the, in the, in the deck or uh, just go to our website on the homepage. You can see it. And there you have an overview of what all the basic capabilities are. So let's talk some numbers. We now have over 10 million app downloads in the US specifically, 1.5 million in the UK and over 38 million worldwide all on Android and iOS. So this is the, uh, the amount of people that downloaded Layer that are now capable audience of, of, of doing this kind of content. And over 90,000 marketeers and publishers are using the Layer Creator. So that is our professional services tool that people use to create augmented reality content. And with that, we're the largest in the world. Our Layer customers are mostly publishers because we really have been focusing on that the last years. But we see more and more different kind of retail publishers as well as uh, producers, brands, and packaging. I'll have some of those uh, examples later. But here's just to give you an overview, specifically in the magazine world, where people, yeah, of, of magazines that have been using us. And core thing about magazines, just to, uh, for you to understand, magazines are all about desire. You read it, you are inspired. Well, for the first time now, you can act on this, uh, this desire that is generated and act on it and, for instance, buy the products that you see by just scanning or liking it or reading more about it. Men's Health has done it, Inc. Magazine, Parents, L Dwell, well, you can see them all here. Basically, all large publishers in Holland, in Europe, in the UK, as well as in the US. Uh, next to those, we also have lots of partners like, like Nelly Moser in the U.S. and Fry Communications. We have Magnetic in London, several here in Holland as well. So we work with lots of people not only using us but also reselling us, with which we are very happy. And those resellers we also call the Layer Partner Network. So like I said, we're the largest uh, in the world, uh, the largest platform as far as users, uh, business to business, as end users is concerned. Also, we're the easiest. I'll do that in a demo later. We, you can make a page interactive under a minute. I don't know if we're going to time me, but uh, let's see what Max will do later. <laughs> Next to that, we have a clear fixed price. It's $60 uh, dollars per page, per image, 
or 45 euros, no matter the size of your print run or how many times uh, people scan your specific page or your image. So really clear, really easy, this is what Layer is all about. And if you zoom out a little, what is it all about? Layer marries your print marketing, anything you do on that printed piece of paper, is it a poster, uh, a business card, uh, a magazine, an ad, a brochure, we make sure that you can link it to, to digital, to like it, to, to inspire, to show things, to show the video like you just saw, to integrate it with your commerce activities. And it's not just publishers, it's printers, it's brand, it's retailers, real estate agents, marketeers, educators, travel agents, anybody who is active in the print space, and lots of people are, are using this and can use this if they aren't already. One of the core things that I personally really like is that we are the first innovation within the publishing that does not diminish the printed product. We actually strengthen, we fortify the printed marketing and make sure that it together with the digital world lasts longer and, and uh, yeah, is more effective. So again, also still on a high level, why do you want to use Layer? Well, there's four core things that we have seen over the last five years. And first off, it's the power to amaze. When you use augmented reality and the audience pulls out their phone and scans the cover like you just saw, they are amazed with what they see. That first moment is also always impressive. So if you get them to do it, they will be impressed. Of course, you have to make sure that the content is relevant, that it really makes sense to them and something they want, need, or anything else. But, and if you have that, and just that simple video, you will have an amazing brand experience that you've never had before. Another thing you can do is engage. So why, for instance, not in your ad say, hey, is this hot or not? And have people give opinion about what they're seeing. They can there, right there and then interact and engage with your brand, your, 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 whatever you are doing. If it's your, your editor in chief who has a question, uh, they can do anything they want and really interact with that printed product, product, which they are used to already online, and now they can also do that uh, uh, on your pr uh, printed product. And like I said before, this really strengthens all your current print activities. This is for the first time that this is the case. You, it really makes more sense to combine those two budgets that you probably already have for print as well as, well as digital and see how you can yeah, smarten that up. And one of the key things with this is that we bring that digital advantage of measurement to print. We can really see what people do in augmented reality, where they click, how many times, when they did it. And with this, you can really grow and learn. And this is actually an, a good point, because when you, for the first time, start this, make sure that you do have a realistic expectation. Because augmented reality is like your first website. Your first website, you probably thought the world of it, and you were very proud of it, but it probably didn't have 100 million visitors right away. It took a time for you to learn and see how your audience wanted your content or your, your whatever you had on offer, whatever your project was. Well, with augmented reality, too, you have to learn your own spelling of this medium, if you will. You learn how to uh, really talk to your audience and give them what they need within your specific activity. One of the other things that we saw as an advantage is that it gives a morale boost to the company, specifically in ad up sales. So publishers who are doing print uh, ad sales, which most of them do, and they upsell, for instance, augmented reality ads for an extra amount to the advertisers, the sales teams really like it that they have something cool, sexy, and worthwhile to upsell to uh, their clients, to the existing clientele. And this, in turn, uh, generates a morale boost. Very, very good. Another thing that they saw is that the advertisers really perceive this as good for the publisher, that finally they have something, an innovation, that is good for all parties. It, again, strengthens the printed product, as well as the advertiser, and yeah, they, it just makes them look good, an image upgrade. With that, let's go to some examples. So first off, I kind of put these in, in uh, uh, several categories. I put the first one in exciting, enticing, and relevant content. So this is a brochure, uh, My Switzerland. It's to promote Switzerland. And let me just show you how it looks. Let's open up the phone again.
And there is my phone again. Let me put it to the side. So literally, I'm just going to scan my computer screen. You can also see how well it can go. Uh, it can recognize. Oh. It should recognize it. Oh, come on. I did this before. <laughs> I love live demos. I hope you do, too. Okay. Let's scan. There we go. There we go. And now it should work. There we go. So what you see here is that they have a brochure. This is a spread in the middle, and it's about the promotion of a country, in this case, Switzerland. They have a simple button here. You don't really know what it does. It, I think it does say it in German on the page itself. So that's a clear call to action. But when you tap it, and oh, you don't see my screen, right? Let me put it all in front. You tap it, you open up this amazing 360 image, and it's like we are standing on top of that. I think it's a cirque, which is a specific type of valley in the mountains, at least the French word for it. And we can, I think this is Don, look around and really have the experience of that specific location. I think this is a great example how interactive print is supporting this print marketing this brochure for Switzerland and gives you something extra. They also have another page, which I'm not going to show you because it's closed down, where you can scan the Matterhorn and look how I think it's St. Moritz, uh, or at least the, the ski slopes uh, uh, of that specific ski area. But right now they're closed because I guess it's too hot already, so it doesn't work. But you could get a live camera view of uh, that, uh, uh, that area. So that's the first one. Another example I'll show you is Glamour Magazine, a very international magazine. This is in Russia, I believe, where they did this. So Glamour Magazine, let me scan it here. Very simple. It's Shakira here on the cover, and we're scanning it. And now we can also. And it's coming in. So here again, it's recognized. And boom, the video starts. I think I turned off the audio. Oh, I don't know. For some reason right now, it's not working. and It's not layer, but my phone. But in short, this is, again, very relevant content where they promote the magazine and do extra things. Another example is with a Dutch newspaper where on the weekend they had a special weekend magazine article about a local comedian called Hans Theo. Lots of people know him, specifically the audience of this newspaper. And what they did is they had a photographer interpret um, interpret their uh, uh, his sketches into a picture. And these nice pictures or photos are then printed. And what they did is that you can see it here kind of in the bottom. Oh, there's my finger. It says being Hans Stewart, being this comedian. And when you scan that, uh, uh, that picture, you will hear the specific sketch that it's, it's inspired on. Put it to the front. I will put it in front. And again, of course, you can. I don't know what I did with my phone. Let me just turn it on and off. I have to restart it in a moment. But then you can hear, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. Is you can hear the audio of that sketch. This was very popular. Um, I can't say the number because they don't want to share, but. Yeah, again, amazing number, really fitting to their audience as in the, or uh, as, uh, fitting to their print run. I really liked it. And I see I have 10 minutes left. I'm just I'm going to speed up a little bit. Uh, and we're going to go back to full screen. There we go. Uh, another two examples here are shopping. So, for instance, Men's Health where they did a special a shopping special where their style guide together with shop advisor was scannable so you could scan it and then buy the products that jimmy in this case jimmy fallon was wearing as well as the model oh, and there's the audio all of a sudden i love wi-fi broadcasting on phones i'm sorry about that so men's health simply put like i said before they inspire people with their style guide they they yeah, really unleash the desire because of it. And then for the first time now with layer, with augmented reality, you can scan that page. You can act on that desire. And the cool thing for the publisher, as well as in this case, their partner shop advisor, they have an extra means of income. 
Porter is a new magazine uh, by Net-A-Porter, a well-known large e-commerce site specifically for, or very large in the women's collections. Also, they have Porter.com for the men's collection, but specifically for the women, they also launch Porter, which is a magazine on the level of Vogue. And here, every page is shoppable. And what's cool about Porter, they, of course, already have the commerce back end. So when you scan these pages, you can easily buy the boots that you see uh, uh, Giselle, uh, the well-known uh, model wear, or I think uh, uh, Lady Gaga is now uh, on, the, uh, on the cover. You can yeah, literally buy what she's wearing from the magazine. I personally believe that commerce and publishing uh, and interactive print are the real core ma marriage that's going to last for a long time. Let's look at some others. So we have a lot of brochures that we can uh, see come on, uh, come by on our platform. We see brochures from Walmart. Here in the middle, you see a, uh, I can't remember who that was, uh, for uh, Halloween. Uh, on the right, you see a furniture uh, dealer. This was a whole chain, so several, uh, several dealers could use this one standard brochure. Also, billboards in the middle is, or on the left is a New Zealand example. On the right, you can see in Holland on the train stations, you can get a five euro discount at the local Amazon when you scan that poster. Also, books are done. For instance, real estate, uh, or as well as real estate uh, brochures, are lots of examples in there. And then let me just do this one demo because I really thought this was a cool one. And, oh, we're going to have such a fun time example or challenge. This uh, we found recently. Oh, it's, of course, I make it crash. This was a stamp done by a choir. And they did a very cool, complex production. You can see it now. Oh. Let me just stick it on there. I hope you kind of get the, the, the thing there. So what they did is they have a 3D model of uh, their uh, specific, uh, uh, their, their uh, theater. They put the video in there of their choir. It's promoting a choir. They have, as you can see on their stamp, you can see a good call to action again. And this is how they promote their, their concerts through a stamp using augmented reality in 3D and video. And it actually ends up with a very nice call to action where you can buy the tickets. A really nice example that I liked and a really good technical execution as well. Another example, which I won't show due to time, but please make take your time to scan it later. It's Chio Chips. Chio Chips, if you scan this, you go straight to a nice little uh, game on your mobile where you have a chance to win. And every time you're playing against a lot of people and really nice, yeah, you get a feeling that there's more people that you're playing with. Another nice example is Sean Paul. He's an artist. He just uh, augmented his cover promoting his tours and, of course, himself. So with that, those are all the examples uh, that I wanted to share with you. Let's do a quick product walkthrough. First off, there's the Layer app. The Layer app is, uh, as you know, uh, available on Android and iOS. It works on phones, on tablets. You can do 2D AR. Those are the flat uh, video uh, experiences, but also 3D, like we saw with the theater. You can do interactive print and geo-based augmented reality, and it also reads QR codes. You already saw me do it a little bit. You can extend your life of content by having the uh, people pop it out or save it for later. And those are, yeah, literally what Everybody can do all that. 38 million people have downloaded this layer app, and which is the audience that you can reach. The layer, uh, layer itself, if you are a producer and you want to start doing it, you have two routes that you can do, two ways that you can choose. First off, there's the layer creator, where you can do it yourself. And uh, this is what we were known, uh, are known for uh, since the beginning. And second, and this is what we launched last week, we now have the layer creative studio, which is a full service agency. I'll talk about that in a moment. Let's first talk about do it yourself, and that's called the layer creator. And in short, it's about drag and drop content creation. And like I said before, enhance a page in less than a minute. And instead of talking about it, let's just show it. So here you are on the layer creator page. This is my account. I uploaded an, uh, an image of layer or Amsterdam in the rain, and you know I'm looking outside, and it is raining. So yes, very relevant for us at least. Um, so this is just a random image. There's no call to action. Of course, there should be one. 
Um, but for argument's sake, I hope you can understand and imagine that it's there. So let me show how you can uh, add a video on here. And in short, I just type in the video, uh, edit video widget. I have a video ready here that I already found on Vimeo. I just get the download link in this uh, case, uh, case. Come on, let me just reload this because it wasn't happening right away. Download. There we go. There we go. I choose the smaller one. I open up the copy of the link address. I go here. I press save. Now, this is going to be a video just like you saw the cover. So I also will need an image to have it start with. I already prepared that. It's right here. I go back to the image. I drag and drop it on there. It's being uploaded right now. So what I decided to do is that this is a video with uh, a nice uh, uh, sunny beach uh, shot, if I'm uh, correct. And now this image is being uploaded, and we have to wait a little bit. And of course, waiting is long when you have a live webinar. <laughs> oh, come on. It works so nice. I love it. So the image that you do, that's basically the image that you start with, just like you have it on uh, YouTube. But YouTube videos, as you might know with Layer, they're really nice, really easy to do, but they, you, it still need, or the user still needs to do like three clicks. And that's not always fun for them to do. And that's why augmented reality videos that you either uploaded and made available by Vimeo or your own uh, thing really works well. And for some reason, this is not working. Let me try it again. Let me drag it from where local uh, file, I believe it's this one. And there we go, it's shown right away. I think we had an issue. Yeah. And there we go, we save it. And so now I have a video here. This is a simple, if I press publish, let's just publish, let's pretend this is really exactly what I want and what my idea is for this campaign. Publish campaign, I have one credit I'm spending. I can promote it right away. I'm gonna skip this due to time constraints. But now this is live, and just so that you can see that it is live, let me show this by deleting this piece of content. Let me scan it. There we go. So you can see that this video now is live. Of course, you can see, oh, come on. It's now loading the video. Okay. Oh, now we see the full screen. Let's go. Why doesn't it work? Did I do double ones? Oh, you can see it. For some reason, it's not playing. Like I said, well, you can see it here in full screen at least. But this is the video that we put on, uh, on top of here. And let me turn this off. But like, as you saw me do, and let me just for the, the halibut also do a simple website button. If you, for instance, want to do a HTTP, and let's go to layer.com. You say it's a website. Let's do a different color. We can do an animation that spins. You so it spins. And boom, we now also have a simple button on there. This is how simple it is. This is also how you, you edit it. And this is, in short, how you technically, functionally, you do it. Of course, you need a concept. You have to have good content. And uh, yeah, make sure that you do it uh, uh, into something that the people want. So that, in short, is the layer creator. We have lots of buttons that you can easily drag and drop. You saw me fumble a little bit with the video. I hope that's okay. Uh, you can do buy buttons, email buttons, pin buttons, basically anything you're used to online, you can do here as well. Uh, with every campaign, and a campaign is a set of pages, uh, you get statistics, so you can see how well they're doing, uh, how well each page is doing, and with that, you can really make sure that you track your progress. 
very important is that you do use our best practices. And in short, they are, you want to be relevant. You want to use relevant content for your target audience. Make sure you give something that you can use. Think, for instance, about something exclusive, behind the scenes, information. Do you have a, vi a video of Beyonce in the elevator? Use it if you're the only one that has it, because you will ensure that you have lots of viewers. If you have something interactive to do, do so as well. Make it interactive. Like I said, hot or not, polls or things like that. Very good. And yeah, let people interact with the content. Make sure it's entertaining. And on at least make sure that it's extra information. It is informative, so people really have a useful uh, time when they're scanning your content. If it's not this, they will not do it. They will have not a good experience. And it's just like a website. They will not come. Now, very important, and a lot of people forget this, so we always stress this a lot. You have to do very large and in-your-face uh, activation because if you do not tell the people of your, between quotation marks, your new room in your store, they will not visit your new room that you specifically prepared, and you will not have clientele there. So make sure that you really use your visual activation. No call to action, no usage. Here you see an example on a Sochi, a Winter Olympic game page of a newspaper where they actually had two call to actions at the bottom. And this, of course, really helps. Um, so talking about help, the Layer Help Center has you covered. We have lots of questions that we field and answer every day. Actually, Max does a lot of them. And they are all collected in our knowledge base, in our help center. So if you want to know, for instance, how to do augmented reality video the right way, which you almost saw me do just now, check the help center, the knowledge base. You can just enter any query, and it'll have an answer for you. This is how we really can help you right away, and uh, because everything is already in there. So let's talk pricing. Um, this is the dollar version. If you're in the U.S., you'll get this right away. Uh, first off, basic pages, they can be free. You do not have to pay uh, if you want. This is then free for 60 days, and it is ad-supported. So you can use this if you're a student or if you just want to try it out and see how it works. This is a great, great entry point for that, basic pages. If you are a publisher and are you upselling your ads, are you enhancing your content in a serious way, you want to use our pro pages. You will get no ads. You will get statistics. Your content is live for one year, and it's $60 per page. Or you can actually even save with bundles. And $60 per page is roughly is, is also, we charge in Europe, $45, uh, 35 euros per page. Are you a really serious uh, publisher? You can then consider to use our premium account, which is $4,000 a year plus the page price. Your content is live for the length of that specific subscription. You get downloadable statistics, advanced features, custom buttons. You can also do campaign collaborations, specifically in large publisher organizations. This is relevant, as well as dedicated online support and regular online training. So these are the prices for our do-it-yourself uh, uh, support, and if you want to do it all yourself. But like I said, there's two ways to do interactive print. This was the Layer Creator. Now let's talk about the new Layer Creative Studio, and we're going to wrap this up soon as well. So this is a full surface agency. With this, you can uh, yeah, really create augmented reality solutions that impress. That's what we're here for. We have seen hundreds of thousands of campaigns on our platform, already helped lots of people, and we have the expertise to to really help you solve your marketing uh, problems using augmented reality, if that is what you wish, or make sure that we fit in your cross-media campaign if you're using more than just augmented reality. The Layer Creative Studio is, is a collection of, of concept people, project managers. It's run by uh, an uh, experienced, uh, a non-spot uh, uh, director or ex-director. He's now uh, working for us, of course, being the director of the Creative Studio. So. This is the place for you if you not, do not want to do everything yourself. Uh, we do everything from concept to execution, design, build it, launch it, evaluate it. Basically, it's the mix of the layer technology as well as your needs. This is the niche that the Layer Creative Studio is in. And if you want, we can also just take it over at some point or just train your people. Really specific, smart solutions for uh, the companies that need that. If you are interested in, interested in this, go to, or, or go to layer.com slash studio or just email directly to studio at layer.com 
uh, for any help that you might need or any questions concerning this. So like I said, two routes to use Layer. Either do it all yourself with Layer Creator if you have the time, or if you want to focus on your sales, uh, your ad sales, have the Layer Creative Studio do it all for you. And with that, I come to the end of the Layer cre uh, the layer one-on-one -on, -one on augmented reality. I hope you liked it. Uh, let's hear some questions and answers if we got some. Um, yeah, I've got a question from Jennifer. Jennifer asks, uh, do you have to hold the phone on the image? No, you don't. We have the pop-out feature in the uh, bottom left corner. Exactly. Yeah, let me just quickly show that if I'm still here. So, good question. Uh, we we uh, uh, shared or launched this a while ago now, where because this is an, a question that we often hear. So, when you, let me start layer again here. So, you can see right now an ad. I'm going to scan it, and then you see the content appear. So, on the lower left corner, you can see this pop up button, and boom, I popped it out. You can actually zoom in. On the background, you can see the original print, and I can add to carts and do anything. And even more cool, I can press the star to add it to my favorite. So it's always with me. So it even goes further than that. Are um, there? I then hope. we have another question from Christian. Christian asks, uh, do you have a webinar for more in deep creation using the layer creator and coding hotspot buttons and uh, the JSON format? I do not believe that that is planned. We're about to uh, plan our next set of webinars. So keep an eye on the events page or on your email if you already get our emails, because those are certainly on the, uh, will be certainly planned. Uh, Kuram is asking, uh, do you have a white label version? Yes, we do. We have a white label as well as an SDK. The white label means that we create a layer app, just like you have it on Android and iOS, yet with your branding. There's no extra uh, functionality, mind you, because we're not app developers as such. So it's just a layer app, but it looks uh, uh, like your, uh, your your brand and everything else in your name is used. Um, we also have an SDK, which is basically a piece of code with layer capability that you yourself can build in your app. Please go to our uh, pricing pages for more, more detail as well as the price. Yeah. Uh, Carrie asks, um, for education use, would you suggest students use free 60-day version, or do you have another option for schools? Uh, for schools, we do have educational pricing if you have specific projects. Uh, uh, email for that, sales at layer.com. There's also in a pricing page, I think there's a form. We do also sponsoring of projects, but those are limited to, I think, max 10 pages. Yeah. <laughs> No pun intended, Max. Uh, but uh, so the, we do help. And like I said, we have a special uh, uh, educational pricing for projects. And those we do on a case-by-case -case basis. So, uh, yeah, like I said, mealsales at layer.com for questions about those. If you want to have students do it, yeah, if the layer, the free layer works for you, please do. I remember we once saw humongous amounts of usage of in Colombia because several university classes started using Layer there, which was actually great to see. Um, Doug is asking, um, if we decide to become a development or a premium partner as an agency, we are essentially a direct competitor with your agency, or can we establish an exclusive territory relationship? Ah, that is very good. So I, uh, I did not tell you that specifically with the Layer Creative Studio, the Layer Creative Studio works directly with the low, uh, Layer Partner Network. So we are not competitors. No, we work together. You can probably do specifically, say, 3D very well, uh, which we may not, or some, uh, some other expertise that we can work together on. Uh, you in your area may rep uh, re also represent us where we do not have other ones. So with that, we work together with our Layer Partner Network for representation as well as expertise. And uh, we have, yeah, we really see uh, lots of current partners already are really happy with this because basically we share leads and we share work and we work together. All right. Uh, Ken has asked, which might be interesting for everyone. Um, you say you can edit content once published. Does that cost uh, $60 every time you edit content or is that a one time fee? No, once you have published your uh, campaign, you cannot change the image. So the page itself. You cannot update, but the digital content on top of it, that is what you can uh, uh, edit endlessly. So as, as long as you can stay up and do it, you're good. Uh, Henrik is asking, is it possible to use streaming video with Layer? 
e.g. through a landing page on the web? I would recommend indeed doing a landing page on the web. We have not yet found a way to do streaming video on iOS as well as Android on all the specific versions that we, of course, need to support. So, uh, uh, yeah, a landing page on the web would be the best way to go uh, for that. Uh, um, how do you use layer for linking 200 products to a web shop? Well, uh, say you have a brochure where this is all in, so then you upload these pages and uh, you manually add all these shopping cart buttons and link to the page. I know for a fact, for instance, Redbook in the US does this every issue, almost 200 pages, 17 as well. Um, another way, this is an extra product that is on a different level. It's our enterprise level product. It's called Layer Connect. And this is a little bit more expensive and way more complex, but you connect to us on a deeper level, meaning, or as an example, the, the European uh, Amazon called BOL, they update monthly 50,000 of their top sold products, meaning books, CDs, and games. And so when you are at a friend, you can scan these covers and you can automatically see a buy button appear on top of it. This is all done automated uh, through our Layer Connect product. Uh, in our pricing pay, or yeah, via sales at layer.com, you can get more information on this. And this is, like I said, a really advanced feature. So if you are serious, this might be something for you to consider. Uh, Silvana is asking, um, how do I update uh, previously uploaded uh, content? This is, yeah, very simple. Just uh, let me just show you. I mean, that rain image that you see right now, this is functionally an, an old, uh, or this can also be an old campaign. So I can just add any button to it, uh, as yeah, like I said before, as many times as I want. Uh, Wilfried is asking uh, on whose server the augmented content is stored? So in this case, you saw me put on a, a video that is actually on Vimeo. So in this case, it's on Vimeo. What we host is in, uh, the image. As you can see, we host the, uh, the information about the button and where it goes to, but that's it. Most heavy media is on your server, on your site, uh, as well as your landing page. It's all your own work, not ours. Yeah. Uh, Morgan is asking, uh, does content expire after a year with each subscription level? There's only one subscription level, and as long as that's running, uh, your, your content will be live. Uh, like I said, a pro page is one year, a, a free page is 60 days. But uh, yeah, if you have, the, uh, uh, those are not subscriptions. But if you have the extra professional subscription, that will be, yeah, as long as that subscription is live. I guess for all the other questions that we have left, please send a ticket to uh, help at layer.com so I can come back to you later. Well, we can do an extra five minutes. An extra five minutes? Let's all right. do it. Uh, People are up for it. Let's do it. Okay, Stephen asks, uh, the SDK doesn't seem to support 64-bit uh, iPhones. Is there a roadmap for supporting this? That is a great technical question I have no clue about, <laughs> so please share that. Oh, yeah, I think Max can probably pick that up and support later. Um, maybe another question. Um, do you offer exclusive country-specific rights to any agency? No, we don't. No, we uh, are not working in such a manner. We've never done so. So anybody can become a partner, and we've never actually had an issue with this. Lots of people, yeah, this is such a young market still. So if you are, now how do you say that? Uh, if you are focused and really want to drive and, and grow this in your own company, you will be able to do so because there is so much room for everybody else. And uh, as long as you pick it up, you can make your market work for you. Um, Wilfried is also asking, uh, what is the general or no call to action button? I guess you showed them before the call to action buttons in the presentation. Indeed, let me just show you again because I might have been a little bit quick. Uh, here they are. And here in the bottom, you can see the, uh, the, the call download the layer app, scan this page, discover interactive content. If you go to the layer site itself, let me do that. You can see in the bottom that, um, Scroll this directly, boom, layer.com. So in our website, all the way on the bottom, download layer assets. And this is where you can download these assets. Uh, they are in EPS format, so you can edit them uh, the way you want it to make them fit. Very important with call to actions is you want to be specific. So if it says 
use a scan with layer that will not motivate your users or your readers enough. So if you say scan this uh, uh, with layer to see the exclusive video with Beyonce, they will uh, scan. If you even are more specific to see an exclusive video with Beyonce singing, uh, they will definitely be doing that. Yeah, uh, Kerry is asking if he could get a copy of this uh, presentation as a recording. Yes, well, we are recording this right now, and this will be shared later uh, via email. Uh, and also on our layer.com slash events page, you can uh, find this information. Mm -hmm. I, roughly a day is what it takes us to produce all this. Um, Jennifer is asking if uh, the buttons are part of the uh, $60 per page image. The button. So the buttons. Yeah. Oh, this is for everybody gets the drag and drop buttons. In the subscription, you also get the HTML and the hotspot buttons, uh, as well as the GeoLab and launch buttons. That's, those are the so-called advanced buttons. But all the basic buttons, website, download app, emails, media buttons, the video, all the social buttons, those are included for everybody. I guess that was it then. Yeah, so with that, well, we're going to have a quick coffee here and uh, get ready for our next webinar in 10 minutes. If you're ready, you can join that one again. That'll be just questions and answers, uh, and I have a little bit of an intro, which will be different than what you guys just heard. So if we do not have any more questions, I will say thank you very much. I really hope you enjoyed it. You can use uh, the content that you heard today. I hope you have the right stuff uh, so that can, uh, yeah, really, we together can build this future of augmented reality. Thank you, Max, for joining me and helping me with the show. Thanks, and I hope to see some amazing campaigns from you guys, or at least that you call our studio to uh, help you create those. Thank you very much, and talk to you soon. Bye.